Hello friends, welcome to HTML video tutorials series. In the previous videos, we discussed introduction to HTML, what does HTML stands for, features and limitations of HTML, how to create a web page using notepad, structure of a typical HTML document, how to set web page title, how to add multiple spaces in HTML, how to add line break in HTML, how to make text bold, italic and underline, and how to nest HTML tags. In this video, I would like to discuss HTML sub tag and soup tag. HTML sub tag and soup tag. In mathematics, chemistry, physics formulas, and even in annotations, we find some content subscripted or superscripted. That is, some content baseline will be shifted up or down, guys. To display such text, we take help of HTML sub and soup tags. Sub stands for subscript, soup stands for superscript. Sub tag is a paid tag used to display subscripted content. Soup tag is also a paid tag. It is used to display superscripted content, guys. Let's have a demo and understand. Here I write H2O. H2O is a water molecule formula, right? I save it, go to browser and reload. You see H2O is displayed. But in chemistry books, I think you have seen 2 is displayed little bit down, right? 2 is displayed little bit down. So how do we display this 2 little bit down? We take help of sub tag. Opening SUB and closing SUB. Anything we put inside sub tag is going to be subscripted, guys. If I save this, go to browser and reload, you can see that the 2 is shifted little down, it is displayed little down. Right. Let me add a br here. I write one more formula, h2, so4, and then I say here br. I save it, go to browser and reload. You see it is displaying h2, so4. Here, 2 should be subscripted and 4 should be subscripted. So, before 2, we write opening sub, after 2, we write closing SUB. If I save this, go to browser and reload, you can see 2 is subscripted. In the same way, I want to subscript 4. So before 4, I write opening SUB. After 4, I write closing SUB. Save, go to browser and reload. You see, 4 is also subscripted, guys. So that is what SUB tag does. Here, I say A plus B whole square is equal to A square plus b square plus 2ab. I save this, go to browser and reload. You can see it is displaying a plus b2, a2, b2, 2ab. Here actually 2 should be superscripted. This 2 should be superscripted. This 2 should be superscripted. So to push this content, push this 2 little bit up, we take help of sup tag guys. Opening sup before 2, after 2 I say closing sup. I save this, go to browser and reload. You see that this 2 is superscripted. So anything we put in between SUP tag is superscripted. So before this 2, I say opening SUP. After this 2, I say closing SUP. I save it, go to browser and reload. You can see this 2 also superscripted. Before this 2, I say opening SUP. After this 2, I say closing SUP. I save this, go to browser and reload. See this 2 also superscripted guys. So that is about sub tag and soup tag. Subscript, superscript, guys. I suggest you people to try this, guys. In the upcoming video tutorials, we discuss more about HTML. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep designing, keep sharing. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. <laughs>